Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. Welcome to Rich's Review. Uh, hey, we're going to skip our snack today because we got mail. So I figured we could get right to that and then review our movie. Uh, this note comes to us from Marianne from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Dear Rich, my son Johnny comes home from school, skips dinner, and watches five hours of TV. Grades are falling. What should I do? Well, Marianne, first of all, that's only 25 hours of TV, so I don't think uh, that's that's a problem. Uh, moving on to the second part of that, uh, maybe you should just bring him a plate to his room because you don't want him to miss, you know, if he's in the middle of a show, you don't want him to miss the ending. And, you know, his grades dropping, you know, grade schmades, you know, uh, college is expensive and, uh, you know, you probably don't have the hundred grand saved anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. So, hope that helps out Marianne and her little problem. Today we got a retro review. Yeah, this one's from 2006. Evolution. Underworld Evolution. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> it's directed by Len Weissman, and there's about five or six in this series. And this is a combination, uh, it's kind of different than anything you watch. You've got action, horror, fable, thriller, love story. Uh, and if you can, try and watch this one on the big screen because uh, there's a lot of great scenery with castles and air, ba air battles and things of that nature. And uh, once again, this one's not for the kiddies. And, uh, Lucky Scott Speedman gets to go in the uh, intimate scene with uh, Kate Beckinsale, so that's not for them. And there's lots of, uh, you know, the werewolves are chomping on people and the vampires are sucking lots of blood. In the meantime, there's lots of one-on-one -on -one battles. But um, <clears throat> all in all, I, I mean, there's a couple more in the series. I might go out and see those, but we'll kind of mix it up so you don't get the same kind of movie every day. Uh, but all in all, this is a good one, and I'd give it uh, four, star, four stars out of five. So tune in tomorrow to Rich's Reviews, and we'll see what we got for you. Have a good day.